<clears throat> hey you guys welcome back to my channel it's me mystic beauty let's go ahead and get into another reading we're going to be um, starting this reading out with the karmic secrets deck you guys can find these cards on my etsy shop the link will be in the description box i will also pin the link at the top of the comment section as well okay so oh wow <laughs> Somebody feel like um, they don't like your gifts. Something that you said to your person and you were right, collective. Somebody is bothered by how gifted you are because you you're, your gifts are pointing them out to be a liar. It says you and your little gifts ratted me out. I was approached about something you said. I called you a liar. But I knew the whole time you figured me out. Yeah. <clears throat> you may be like um, openly into spirituality or something like that. Or everybody knows that you're gifted. But somebody is very bothered by your gifts. This karmic is very bothered by your gifts. Very bothered by your gifts. They don't like how on point you are all the time. Because you're just pointing them out to be a liar. They're becoming more distant and irritated with me. Irritated with me. I I think all that spell work has worn off or backfired. And y'all, that's something because in the last reading I did, it came out that the karmic was considering doing spell work. For some of y'all, this person has actually already did this. Tell me more. But it looked like whatever they did has worn off off of your person. It, it never could latch on to you, but it definitely wore off of this person. I allow them to indulge in group sex and same-sex affairs. So they just let your person do whatever they want to do. Just literally do whatever they want to do. Open relationships, polygamy, third parties, four parties, five parties, whatever they want to do. They just pretty much look like they're a doormat to your person. I know this, the bun y'all share is different. And special and I absolutely hate it yeah they can feel that what you and this person share is something unique it's something different it don't even compare to like this they know it's something different than what they have together like this karmic knows that this is like a genuine bond like you don't have to give anything or allow them to do anything crazy for this person to love you oh wow I use spells to make them be nasty and hateful towards you. So it's here again for the third time. This person, this karmic definitely, definitely was doing spell work to make this person turn on you. <clears throat> this is more about you than it is about them. I'm determined to defeat you past life beef. So y'all, this is a past life karmic. You may have had some type of beef with this karmic in a past life or y'all had some type of run in with each other in a past life um, collective. And this person is just determined to defeat you in this lifetime. Maybe you defeated them in the past life and the, and the beef carried over into this lifetime. I used to be able to manipulate them. But now I can't. It seems all of your prayers and sending them healing energy is working. You bitch, this isn't over. Oh, yeah, this is this bitch is a demon. <clears throat> excuse me yeah this this bitch is a demon all right the fact that she pissed off because energetically she could tell he or she could tell that you praying for your person oh wow <laughs> i literally sucked the life and soul out of them i must i have a succubus demon attached to me didn't i say they're a demon this person is a demon. They have a real demon latched on attached to them. I am done. I just said that and it flew out. So this is definitely confirmation. 414. This karmic is a demon. For real. I stalk your social media out of jealousy. Wow, one of the spirits they have on them is jealousy for sure. They're super jealous of you collective. I have at least three of my karmic friends stalking you from fake accounts and trolling your comment section. We're childish as fuck. Of course you are. Of course you are, my love. All right. So, you know, this is like gang stalking energy here. People leaving rude comments on your stuff, flagging your channel. If you have a channel or just, just, just doing ridiculous stuff. It's childish as hell. Okay. They're all going to get karma for this though because 
This absolutely makes no sense. <laughs> monkey see, monkey do, I guess, right? I'm extremely jealous of how everyone view you and how so many people admire you. Yes, I'm talking to somebody who specifically, you get a lot of views. You may have a lot of followers, a lot of likes on your pictures, or, you know, you're just well known in your community and like what you do, who you are, you're well known. And this person is jealous. The karmic is super jealous of how other people view you <coughs> and how other people admire you. <coughs> another message i know i'm a loser i hate seeing your pictures online i'm tired of competing with you the fact that this karmic honestly feel like y'all in some type of weird ass competition they're competing with you you're not competing with them that's weird as shit that is so weird that they feel this way wow i can see why they love your ass so much you're fucking gorgeous inside and out and i hate that for you well <laughs> We love that for ourselves, right? <laughs> so this this person is jealous of how beautiful you are. It's like you have a glow that glows from the inside out. So this is like not like a superficial beauty. This is like a divine beauty that you have. Like you just have like a divine glow on you. And this person is jealous. They hate this about you. That's crazy. <clears throat> I feed their insecurities and I cuddle their ego. So yeah, this person just kind of, this karma just literally, you know, buy into this person's insecurities and their egos, for real. They just feed the shit. They're, they're, they fuel the fire. So they might just like beat this person up. They beat this person's ego up. You know, that's ridiculous. I pretend to love them. I really don't. I really just like the fact that I'm keeping them away from you. Yeah, they don't even love this person. It's more about you. This is definitely past life um, drama. I'm determined to make them betray you just to prove a point to you. Yeah, this is past life. You, this, this karmic, and I'm honestly getting collective. This is your karmic. Like sometimes you think it's your person's karmic, but the way it sounds, this is, this is your karmic that followed you in a past life that always latch on to your partners. That I always try to take your partners from you. Wow. What what do the collective... What, what can the collective do, Holy Spirit, to defeat this demon in his lifetime? To defeat this karmic in his lifetime once and for all. So that this karmic will stop following them through following them through the portal and latching on to their partners. What can they do? Shattered dreams, misery, nightmares, unhappiness, lack of fulfillment. What is this? Justice. Divine justice, karmic justice. Mm. What can they do, Holy Spirit? What goes around comes around. There's something about dealing with the karmic and being unfulfilled. Make this clear to me. Force wars. This is fear, anxiety, stress, feeling solitude. Um, what is this? Missed opportunity. Rude, forceful, bully. I feel like this is just karmic energy. Aggressive, ruthless, arrogant, uncomfortable, misery, love, company. This is an arrogant, snobby energy. This is over here, divine justice with the justice card. What goes around comes around. This is this karmic getting karma. This is y'all getting rest. This karmic may, I'm, somebody's going to end up in the hospital. Y'all, a part of this karmic's karma is that they're going to get sick. They're going to like, something's going to happen and they're going to end up in, I heard an ICU or something like that. How can the divine collective, um, wrap up this karma in this lifetime with this karmic here so that this karmic can stop following them this is speaking some type of truth her hand out y'all even though this is your karmic 
this part ain't got nothing to do with you. Yes, this karmic is plaguing you, but in every lifetime, the karmic has been able to take your person from you. And this creates karma but with your person too. Because I feel like in a past life, this karmic was able to take this person from you. And what I'm getting is that this person is going to have to reject this karmic. They're going to have to reject them and to wrap up the karma. That's the only way this karmic is going to stop reincarnating, like following you guys through the divine portal. Your person is going to have to reject this karmic. Reject them, reject them. Yeah. Yeah. Because the lovers is here. That's um, love, major choices in love and soulmates and partnerships. Yeah, and then the Wheel of Fortune is in reverse. <clears throat> it says bad karma. Clinging to control external forces, unwelcome changes and delays. Releasing pain. They're going to have to release this karmic in this lifetime. They're going to have to reject them. If they reject this karmic, collective and release them once and for all that's going to wrap up the cycle i feel like in a past life they never rejected them or they didn't you know cut them loose or something like that yeah they're gonna have to reject this karma collective they're gonna have to so even though this is kind of like i don't know it's like a shared karmic lesson it's weird yeah they're gonna have to reject this karmic and come towards you they're going to have to, that's the only way to square this all. This karmic is going to keep coming back if the energy feel like it can continue to interfere. They're going to have to do it. Mm. Wow. Um, the Six of Pentacles is in, in reverse. This is, this is pulling back. This is not feeding into something. This is past life. This person is going to have to stop feeding into this past life connection with this karma here. They're going to have to stop feeding into it so that the energy will die out. That's the only way. They're going to have to let the energy die out. They're going to stop feeding into it. The problem is that they feed into it. See, four pinnacles in reverse. They're going to have to let this person go once and for all. They're going to have to starve that spirit on that person. Let their asses go. They're going to have to reject them. Wow. Mm, the fact that that came out. What? Give me a final karmic message. And I'm going to wrap this reading up. Final karmic message. Thank you. I use the kids to guilt them into staying in this unhappy marriage or relationship. Yeah. Yeah. Even a karmic know this person don't fucking want them. Why are they holding on to this karmic? Why? Like, why? Why are they holding on, Holy Spirit? A burden? This person feel like it'll be some type of burden, like choosing. Because it says two paths, the ten of wands. Wow. Choosing another path will be burdensome to them. Sometimes the grass is greener because it's fake. Yeah, they feel like, they felt like choosing you would have been a burden. Like, some type of weight on them. What is this? In the Ace of Swords, that's the truth. Speaking this truth will cause a lot of burdens for them. Could be money. Like, you know, sometimes people don't want to pay out a lot of money. ESC refusing to compromise, even though they're being divinely um, led away from this karmic situation here. They're... You are you represent this person's peace here. Yeah. This person held on, arrogantly held on when God was trying to tear them apart. Yeah. This person would have experienced some type of major major success and level up with you guys. Mm. Yeah. You represent big you represent victory, success recognition um a new beginning with the with the full energy here damn this person felt like it just would it would have been too much of a burden like maybe they would have lost too much or would have caused too much like confusion or something like that even though they're not happy yeah they're definitely not happy <laughs> all right they've been putting in work on with the demon literally the eight of pentacles and the devil 
and you know it came out of that this person this karmic is has like demonic attachments they've been putting in work building with a demon but that all that is about to come to an end yeah this person has i heard a date with destiny yep this person has to choose love in this lifetime and they have to put these swords in this demon's back 15 15 on the timer when i said that that's a wrap they have to slay this demon this, this part ain't got nothing to do with you, but it is a shared karmic lesson, okay? All right, I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. Also, very soon, I will be open for personal readings. I know it has literally been three years since I've done readings, but back by popular demand, okay? You guys been asking me and asking me and asking me, so I've uh, decided to reopen up my books. I will let you guys know um, I'm getting my website redone, and there will be a part on there a section where you can actually book the date the time and the type of reading that you want all right love and light peace